Hey, we had hey, 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 we're back again. Hey, uh, KC's we're over still there. Back. He's over there preempting me. Oh. <laughs> and in public. Yeah, yeah. man. But anyway, we said we're back here for the second segment, the Coon Prairie Ramblers, and we're going. We're t- we were talking about audio books. Audio books. There is a market out there, and if you have, you don't have any voice. Well, not you know, the main thing. You got to be able to read. But even if you mess up, you can audit. You can edit it. You, you know, that's read. the yeah. thing. You can edit it but, right there as you're doing it. Really? But I would yeah. think, and I, that reading a book. Mm-hmm. For someone else to hear yeah. is a lot like singing a song. You have yeah. to put the emotions. You have there to make them feel what you're. I mean, if I'm reading, you know, like see, spot, run, mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. a lot different than you know, like saying it in a way to make the people right. visualize it. Wait. When I'm reading a book for myself, to myself, I visualize. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've got a very yeah. vivid. Imagination. Imagination. And I can, by the time I'm through with a book, I can see the people. I can hear them. I, I know what they sound like. I know what they look like. I what know they what smell they like. smell like. I know what they dress like. And that's why when I go see a movie Shoe size. and they have a movie about somebody and I'm mm-hmm. looking at it thinking, that's the wrong. Character. That messes with your mind, don't mm-hmm. it? Yeah. And why did they leave this part out and put this part in that shouldn't be in there? Because the movie would have been three days, three, three days so, long if yeah. they put everything is in the book. So I would imagine that reading that book is a lot like that, that you have to be able to emphasize yeah. the right words and, and to put in the feelings. and the. Well, you got to. You got to read the book. I mean, you got to go ahead and read the book in advance and take some notes, you know. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. You know, know who the character's coming up and. And some some books are, are written in first person. Some books are written but, in third person. Yeah. Well, what you do is uh, what the, the the marketing part is. When somebody wants to do an audio book or they want to hire someone to do it for for them, they can uh, the, they can listen to demos. You can go to YouTube and listen to the demos and pick out the voice you want. It may be Casey's voice or it may be Luke's voice. I don't think so. Oh, oh, hey, it may be. Uh, well, it would be about a redneck southern budget. There you go. Well, they, 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 have, yeah, books. they have books like that. <laughs> well, that's what it would yeah. be about because it wouldn't be me reading something about, uh, you know, uh, war and peace. War, war and peace. Or it, might, or, it, might, or, it might be narrating, you know, you know, like a documentary or something like that. You know, like uh, who, who's some of the famous documentary or narrators? Um, Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman. That's, the, that's who I was picturing there. Morgan Freeman. He's got the voice for it. James Earl Jones. James Earl Jones. Oh, I, I, yeah, Darth I Vader. Heard, That's who you want reading your book. Yeah. Darth Vader. <laughs> I heard uh, Morgan Freeman interviewed, and they asked him about his voice. And he, they said, what makes your voice so good? And he said, well, he says, I say the words right. I finish the words. He says, I say the whole word. I don't, you know. His his style is he he doesn't doesn't chop the words yeah he doesn't chop the words you know he's he elocutes is that the word well eloquent el or elocu elocution electrocution yeah <laughs> anyway so you can uh, and the way you get you get paid you get paid by the hour hour yeah and um, but if you're doing you you edit your own work you. You sit there and you and you read and what you do and you do it by chapter, then you go back and you edit it, you know, on Audacity, which is what I do with the Kuhn. You Prairie have Ramblers. the Audacity. The to Audacity edit. of you. The, yeah. yeah. So basically, some people you're paid by a finished hour. You know, right? You, you know, no matter how many hours you got in it. Yeah, but uh, you, you, yeah, I don't know how long. It sounds to me like it would be very expensive to have somebody. Do your book. Why don't you just read. do it yourself then? Yeah. Well, they suggest if you can read, if you're good at it, they suggest I that you I think reading do that. would be a uh, necessity. Yeah. If you oh, can't I mean, if read. If you read you, good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Some people can't read good, and it, and it may be that they do so much editing because they're such a poor reader that it it's, uh, it, it's, it's labor intensive. You know, I used to enjoy reading nursery rhymes and to my children and my grandchildren, I like to put that, you know, I like to read. Mm-hmm. Instead of just flat reading, I like to kind emphasize. of. Emphasize. Yeah, emphasize. Mm-hmm. Thank you also. 
Yeah. Here's what you ought to do, Mel, is put put it on YouTube. You open it up with you. Here I am. Hi, this is this is Mel Jackson. I'm going to read you the story of my life here. You're sitting by the fireside and like a little fireside chat. Then you start reading your story, and uh, during the course of the story, you 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 do like you do the Coon Prairie Rambler videos. You're showing pictures of stuff all the way through mm-hmm. with your voice, all the way through. It may be yeah. an, an abbreviated version of the book or whatever condensed yeah. Reader's Digest condensed version or something. But you can put that on YouTube with with pictures. Condensed cream. And I would chicken need. Food. I would need. Because I don't have a whole lot of pictures from my childhood. I mean, I've got it, what what you've seen on YouTube is basically about what I got. Well, you, you can know? borrow other people's pictures. Tell yeah, them we them. can steal pictures. Oh yeah, that's right. You can do uh, like Photoshop. Put your hand right. on whoever <laughs> doing doing whatever. Can you uh, say um, uh, you uh, somebody's uh, drawing? Can you uh, do they do they have Photoshop drawings where you, oh that that's a you know just in. Oh, yeah. Interesting, you know. It's out there. Some know, of it's uh, free and clear. You can yeah. use it without paying. Pencil pencil drawings or right. something like that. that it kind of illustrates cool. the point, yeah. Whatever. You could you could do stick figures. Drew your own. You could illustrate it yourself. Hey. Stick yeah. Mel. Yeah. Here he comes. Stick Mel. Okay. <laughs> I could do that. Mel Stickson. So you're writing under an, 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 a... A fiction an, name. Yeah. That's right. A pseudonym. Fictitious name. Hmm. Mel Stickson. Yeah. Well... That that's going to be my next big project. Yeah. Coming soon to. I, you, I yeah. just read it myself. You've you've Put got a, near you. a good voice. Well, I'll try it. I'm, I'm going to try it. I'm going to do. Gonna, I'm going to uh, do the first chapter. I'm going to give you an attaboy on that. You you have a good and voice. I can, you have a what I call a generic voice. I mean, it. it you're, but in the right you're, ways. Yeah, yeah. It, your voice doesn't mm-hmm. say, "Oh, uh, he's from Manhattan or yeah. he's from the South." Right. Or neutral voice. He, you, neutral, yeah, you, uh, you don't sound like you're from Boston or talking yeah. about the call. Well, and you know, and then car. if you've listened to different, you, you'd be surprised who who does these these. Uh, general, a lot of times it's actors, and they're, they're kind right. of doing like in between. You know, when they're. They do voiceovers for commercials. I mean, you stop. Yeah. I've heard this voice before. Yeah. Just like uh, a while back, Sam Elliott was doing, uh, you know, beef. That's what's for dinner. Mm-hmm. But before him, Robert Mitchum was doing it until he died. Yeah. Huh. Robert Mitchum yeah. saying yeah. that. But you're like, I've heard this voice before. Mm-hmm. Who is it? Hmm. So um, I guess I guess if you, you could start off with your own book and do that and then launch into doing voice narration yeah. and next thing you know yeah. you're doing cartoons and you have you have demos and people listen to your demos and then they choose if that you know if you got the right voice for their book you know they'll, they'll choose you I wonder if charlton uh, heston ever read the bible i don't mean to himself i mean like a dramatic i think version. he did i think a lot he of people did. do have i think recorded charlton that. heston did do the whole bible like like uh, alexander square I, I could buy his version and yeah no it. not his well, version take a long his, time to yeah. listen to that <laughs> the charleston his yeah. version yeah when he gets to the part about moses he, re- he really gets into yeah. it then he, he has flashbacks when he was in the movie the ten commandments yeah Let my i give you these go. 15 at least 10 these commandments. 10 commandments we're down to 10 now and you know on <laughs> on the, there's this audacity program that you you can edit with there's that's a free. That's a free version. Yeah. The ones you can buy, you can buy better ones. That, you know how you can add sound effects to it. You you can go through a whole list and pick out the sounds and add that to it. No kidding. Yeah. That might be like, fun. But I'd rather use your your sound effects. Uh, uh, that wouldn't be good. Oh, oh that wouldn't be good. <laughs> nah, I'd go with a real company. Not not for. <laughs> it would be for a uh, if it was a. Uh, a farce of a parody, a parody, but not for the a dramatic reading of yeah. your actual autobiography. You would want. That. <laughs> I don't know. It might juice it up a little bit. It might. Yeah. We can make it up might. stuff. Hmm. What What would be some of the good sound effects that would take place in Nocatee if, if he was doing a Nocatee book? Oh, that's, that's a whole other story. Oh, it's a whole other story. No, yeah. no, no hablo español. We, uh-huh. we need to go and pay the bills, and then we'll come back. Goodness, we'll come well, back with another topic, I think, next. Well, that, does does somebody seconds. go buy, uh, charge something? we got to pay another bill? Yep. I'm afraid so. <laughs> keep, them, keep them letters and cards coming in, you all. We're going to talk about gizzards in the next uh, yep. segment. We sure so are. We might have some special the sound effects for around. you. We might have some yeah. lip smacking. Some, some good sound effects. And we we'll have to explain, live. The, explain what a gizzard is. Oh, boy. We'll be back. Y'all sit put. Stay put. Whatever it is. <laughs> 